So this is the guama and it's native to South America. It's grown as far back as records go and it's still grown, cultivated by the indigenous people and used for an alcoholic drink as well as medicine and also just as a fruit. It's also known as in English as ice cream fruit and it, it grows in these, these long pots and you can see it's basically two sides clumped together. When you first see ice cream beans it's like seeing a giant pea pod, like something out of Jack and the Beanstalk. It's really big, about 12, 10, 9 inches long, varying, and it's a beautiful dark green. The more mature they are, the more dark spots they are, the darker it goes eventually uh, when it's overripe. It's a tough, leathery pod. So we'll have a look inside and then we'll see how it tastes. Have a go at opening it and inside we'll find some seeds. It's pretty tough to, to open so I'm going to squeeze it. Here we go. Can you see okay? See? Is that you? Gonna see here the seeds were a bit exposed to the air so we're not going to touch those the end of the pod was open but here we can see the good seeds are covered in a very kind of fruit it's quite normal for these to be I've started growing started germinating you can see germinating along here Let's take a close up look at this extraordinary fruit and it's amazingly fluffy. It's like a rabbit's ear, somebody said. Fruit is actually furry and it's, it's fairly dry to the texture. Inside you've got these huge seeds which start to germinating. So literally grow that. It's already started. So we're interested in the flavour of the fruit. Just open this leathery pod. This pod is really tough and leathery. The actual tree is used for many things by the indigenous people. And I'm not sure if they use the pods, but it's pretty tough. Okay, so here goes. It's just fluffy, hairy, smooth, soft and moist too. This looks to be a nice furry one with plenty of fruit on it. So let's give one of these a try. This is the nicest looking one. You can just eat it off, off the fruit. You can understand why it's called vanilla fruit. Yeah, this does have a vanilla-y, ice creamy taste to it. It's not really strong, but it is it's pretty mellow taste and very agreeable taste. I doubt if many people would dislike this fruit. And you can really imagine it in some kind of subtle flavoured dish, like even in a, in a salad or a fruit salad, or even used to actually make ice cream or a sorbet or a drink, even with, with uh, milk. It could make a nice smoothie and you can't really do anything with the seeds. It's a, a pretty nice, slightly chewy texture. Texture I'd say probably like, a bit like peach. It's, it's a good flavor. So that's the guama and I'd recommend you try this. I found this on the streets of Bogota and people sell it when it's in season or if you're in a more tropical climate in South America, you can probably find it cultivated or growing wild or growing feral. It's really easy, really common to find on the coast of Colombia, but in the cities it's harder to find, just keep an eye out for it and when you find it, take the opportunity to try it. It's something quite unique 
unique texture, unique flavour, and obviously a unique presentation. So, let's give one more a try. We've got So that's Guama.